The moment you receive your blood test with an elevated cholesterol level, you might immediately feel like you're at risk of atherosclerosis or cardiovascular diseases, like heart attack or stroke. Many people believe that eating high cholesterol foods, such as eggs, shrimp, and full-fat yogurt, directly raises their blood cholesterol levels, but the reality is more complex. The human body is a sophisticated system that produces most of the cholesterol found in your blood. Cholesterol levels in peripheral tissues are regulated by a balance of uptake and export. While most cells can synthesize cholesterol, the majority is either ingested or synthesized by hepatocytes and transported in the blood to peripheral cells. The liver produces about 75% of the body's cholesterol. Moreover, when dietary cholesterol intake increases, the liver typically compensates by producing less cholesterol to maintain balance. Cholesterol in food is often accompanied by other dietary fats, such as saturated fats and trans fats, which are ingested simultaneously. Saturated fats and trans fats, found in foods like red meat, full-fat dairy products, and processed snacks, have a much greater impact on raising blood cholesterol levels than dietary cholesterol itself. Research suggests that excessive consumption of saturated fat can impair the function of these receptors, causing cholesterol to build up in the blood. Another important aspect of dietary cholesterol is that people respond differently to it due to genetic factors. Some individuals, known as hyperresponders, may experience a more significant increase in blood cholesterol levels when they consume cholesterol-rich foods. However, even in these cases, the increase in LDL cholesterol is often balanced by an increase in HDL, high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol, which can help mitigate cardiovascular risk. Approximately one in 250 individuals has a genetic mutation for the LDL cholesterol receptor that leads to familial hypercholesterolemia, FH. This condition affects about 1.3 million people in the US, including children, but only about 10% are aware they have it. The good news is that familial hypercholesterolemia is treatable with medications and lifestyle changes. In summary, the cholesterol in your diet is not directly converted to cholesterol in your blood. The liver's regulation, the impact of other dietary fats, individual genetic factors, and the essential role of cholesterol all contribute to this complex relationship. The biggest influence on blood cholesterol levels is the mix of fats and carbohydrates in your diet, not the amount of dietary cholesterol you consume. Instead of focusing on eliminating dietary cholesterol, aim for a balanced diet that supports overall heart health. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them below. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.